So here it looks like a win-win situation for the actor and production houses. Now the traditional analog reels are making way for digitized ones, but will they change the way films are screened in India? Mansi finds out how digitization of reels will help the movie industry and whether analog or traditional film reels will soon join the dinosaur age. The Indian film industry has witnessed many technological revolutions that have changed the course of filmmaking. Digital prints, a technology that changed the way movies are projected, have played a key role in changing the business matrix. While it has been six years since UFO Movies India started the digital wave, there has been a phenomenal rise in digitization only in the last couple of years. Uh, we have uh, now 3000 digital theatres in India, which we have digitized, which are located in 1300 cities across every state and unitary of the country. So, you know, that kind of deep uh, penetration we have been able to provide. So, as a result of that, against four to 500 prints, now all major movies are going to two and a half to three thousand screens. Multiplication of the regional and the small budget movies, like a, a page three for example, which is a which is a typical example, released with just sixty prints in those times. Today, if a, a page three equivalent releases, it releases in six to seven hundred uh, cinemas at least. Uh, when I did my first film, Tumil, it released with one hundred twenty-five prints, all India. Now today, no matter how small a film you make, you cannot release a film with 125 prints. Nobody will ever know that the film released. But uh, with the speed at which the number of screens uh, have increased and are still counting, it is becoming virtually impossible to create as many analog prints because analog prints have a cost attached to them. This year's biggest release, Agnipath, was screened in 1,200 digital theatres out of the total release of 1,888 prints. While Bodyguard was released last year with 1,480 digital prints, Shah Rukh Khan's Ravan went in for 1,900 digital prints and Dawn 2 was released with 1,871 digital prints. Rohit Chetty's Ajay Devgan starer Singham was released in 1,200 digital cinemas. Despite the rapid digitization of reels, filmmakers say that Indian cinema is failing to keep up with the ever-changing technologies of the West. The general process is that a new technology comes out. America uses it or a Western nation uses it, tests it with the market finds success with it. It gets published, it gets written about, we hear about it. We see it. We inquire about it. We think of buying it. We evaluate the pros and cons. We begin to buy it. We buy it. It comes here. I'm, I'm, I've just explained about two years to you. Digitization has also helped reduce the production cost as an analog reel costs anywhere between 70,000 to 80,000 rupees, while a digital print costs only around 10,000 rupees. However, some theater owners question the functioning of digital prints. It has got either satellite or chips. Yeah. Chips has got 28 programs if you are running your four shows a day, 28 shows program. If something was technically upset in, even in one show, you have to cancel that show. Okay. Suppose light has gone. There is no light from where we are getting a supply, Tata or Reliance. Huh? So you that show you to cancel. You can't carry forward because it is stick in that chips. Twenty eight shows only. Digital prints have ensured that films are released in tier two and tier three cities on the day of their release across metros and A towns. The industry, which has already gone 80% digital, will see a further increase in the number of digital prints, taking it to 90% by the end of this year. And even as theatre owners like Manoj Desai are trying to keep the traditional reels alive by refusing digitization, experts say that analog reels will be history by 2030. Well, on that note, it's time for a quick commercial break.